Hey guys, it's Brittany again, and today I have a wig review for you guys. Today's wig review is going to be Free Trust Equals Lace Deep Diagonal Part, and the style is Apple Blossom in the color OF 2730613. And the OF stands for Ombre Frosted, if you don't know that. And this is what the model looks like. Okay, so I have the exact color that the model has on, so here you go. It is not new at all. I think it came out sometime at the beginning of last year. But I've always been kind of hesitant to buy it because it looks kind of thin. But it turns out it is kind of thin, but it's not as thin as I thought it was. So that's, that's definitely good. So these are the other colors it comes, comes in. And I'm a big fan of all the ombre colors, so those are the other options. Looks like a long version of Spring Blossom, and I think Spring Blossom is cute, but I do like longer hair, so I wanted to get a longer version of it. And this is what this looks like. I will say, even before I cut the lace, it was already shedding, so <laughs> that's not good. I've tried a good amount of blonde ombre wigs and they tend to tangle and shed the most. So uh, just be aware of that if you do try a blonde ombre wig. Garden space looks pretty good. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna pull a few hairs out, but it looks pretty good already. And that's what the parting space looks like. The ombre, the dark root is not throughout the wig. It's just kinda at the top part. But that doesn't really bother me. Some people it might bother you, but it doesn't bother me. The part in space appears to be about probably like five inches long, so that's really good. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It has a comb on the right side, and then a comb way on the left side. Comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. I know I usually don't show you guys this. Somebody pointed that out like, I used to show you guys how I blend my part and all that stuff. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I blend my parts. I'm just gonna try it on first. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like before I do anything to my edges or the parting space. So I have gotten quite a bit of shedding. It might have a little to do with me cutting the lace off, but I think it's the wig as well. So this is what the parting space looks like before any manipulation. It looks pretty decent actually. I'm probably just gonna pull some hairs out of the parting space. And if you guys wanna know how to do the pull method of tweezing, I'll link a video on the screen right now for you guys. So check that video out. So I'm gonna take this off and kind of pull a few hairs out and see what, what to do with this.
All right, guys, so I have showed you guys how I blend my part. That's the awesome thing about hard lace. It lays so flat to your head to where you can really blend the part well and make it look really natural. I have a lot of trouble with blending my parts with soft lace. It takes more work and effort, but you can do that with any kind of any kind of lace. New to, to wigs, I would suggest using powder instead of concealer or foundation. I used to use foundation, but when I tried powder, it just works so much better and the results look better as well. And of course, find your right shade. For your part in space, you should go a shade lighter or two shades lighter. Uh, but don't go too light because I've seen that too and it looks, it looks pretty bad. So just play around with different uh, powders to find your right shade. So as far as this wig goes, I think the color is really, really pretty. It comes with a little, little bang right here. I'm probably going to cut this little part off just so it won't fall in the bang area. So you have a little bang on this side. The density of this wig, I told you guys that I was apprehensive about buying Apple Blossom because from the reviews that I saw, they, they mentioned that it was on the thin side. And if you guys know me, I don't like thin wigs. So I went ahead and bought it because it had such a beautiful color and I wanted something uh, blonde and straight. So density is okay. The density is okay, but it's definitely on the thin side. I don't feel, I don't feel any tracks, maybe at the very top, I feel a little bit. The luster of it is really nice. It's not shiny. My spring blossom was really shiny and um, I had to add some dry shampoo and it fixed it, but you won't have to add any dry shampoo to this one because the luster is really nice. Okay guys, so I was looking back at all my footage and for some reason my 360 of the wig wasn't in my footage. So this is the second day that I've worn this wig. So I'm gonna give you guys a 360. This is the front and I'm six feet tall. And it kinda, I think this wig is about 18 to 20 inches long, probably 18 inches. This is the left side. Here is the back. The back for you guys. Here is the right side. And here is the front again. What I noticed about this wig, this right side, this little part right here, this curls to the front sometimes like that. And it's so annoying. I wish it was just straight because that's really annoying. I have to kind of like brush it down just so it won't flip forward. You could, also, you could also probably try to flat iron it out. I'll probably eventually do that. When I got off camera yesterday, I decided to cut that, that long piece that I told you guys about earlier. So I cut that a little bit on this side. Just like, I guess a one day update. This wig is the type of wig that is going to tangle. It's already shedding too, so that's definitely two negatives. And this is the kind of wig that you probably have to carry a paddle brush with because it's gonna tangle up on you. The reason why I got this wig is because I wanted this blonde color really bad and I wanted something that was straight. I'm sure there's other options out there, but I think this one is pretty cute. Yeah, so I think that's everything that I have to cover about this wig. If I left out any information, just put it in the comment section and I'll get right back to you, of course. I have some other wig reviews coming up for you guys. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Brit underscore thrifts, as well as I fancy cupcakes. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.